The auto box wins against the clock because of a few inherent advantages. A computer is better than a human at managing launch traction, and the dual clutch unit upshifts without interrupting power delivery. Also, it has shorter second, third, and fourth gear ratios. During our 30 to 50 mile per hour and 50 to 70 mile per hour passing tests, the gap is significantly larger and not directly comparable because the automatic nimbly grabs a shorter ratio while our procedure dictates to leave the stick in top gear. The second benefit is potentially better fuel economy, rooted in the fact that the DCT has 7 forward ratios versus 6 in the M2's manual gearbox. The automatic has a 47% wider overall ratio spread attributable to its 0.67 to 1 7th gear, which yields an additional 2 miles per gallon, or 10% in the EPA combined mileage rating. Given the 19 miles per gallon we logged during 1000 miles of mainly local driving, that 2 miles per gallon, again, is nothing to sneeze at. It's worth noting, however, that we averaged 20 miles per gallon in the manual equipped M2 we tested in California in February. Money matters. BMW's dual-clutch automatic does cost an extra $2,900 in the M2, which starts at $52,695 in base form. <laughs>